Hi guys, Banexel here, and welcome back to Pokemon Zeta. So, um, if you didn't see the last episode, basically we went into, well, whatever this gym was, the Psychic Gym, I can't remember his bloody name. Uh, was it Demetrius somewhere? I can't remember. But, um, <coughs> we won, but, as you can see, it came out a bit of a cost. So, uh, we'll be continuing on to the next gym today. We might be able to fight him. We've not got Rock Smash yet, so we can't go that way. We probably won't like actually fight the gym as usual, because, well, obviously we've got to get to the town or find where the fuck he is first. So, before we go, let's just check what our item of the day is. 20 Ultra Balls, those would be good. Because we're going to, obviously, new areas. So, the way we want to go is to Ladoja Town. Or Ladoja Town. I don't think I talked to you, but sure. So, assuming we're all healed, we should be able to go north to the... I think, is it the cycling road or something? No. Still under construction. Where the fuck are we meant to go, then? I don't think we can go anywhere in here without a ticket or something. Yeah. <laughs> Where the fuck are we going then? Because the, the guys on top of the mountain literally just said go and do like the gyms and that. Okay, let's try Kivu Town. Is a way south from here. There's a forest, but it's all fenced off. Currently closed. Okay, so it's not that way either. So where the fuck are we going? Only way it could really be is north from here. But I'm pretty sure there's nothing north of here. Yeah, I can't get in that cave, so I don't think I can go north. <laughs> I don't have Rock Smash, do I? Uh, cut, fly, surf, strength, waterfall. No, I don't. Where the fuck am I meant to go then? Okay, I'll just look it up and I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so I've just looked it up, so apparently this is the right way, but before we can go in there, we need to go into the Safari Zone to get Rock Smash. I was thinking, oh, I don't need to go into Safari Zone, because as we'll see, I've already got on my encounter in Safari Zone, it just says... <coughs> It just says, where's it, Safari Zone. Yeah, it didn't say like a particular area or anything. So, um, when we go in, I might just catch my first encounter in there anyway. And then we can like decide later on whether it's legal or if it's just going to sit in the dead box. Or maybe even a different box, I don't know. But I'll catch some it, and then just chuck it in the box unless we decide I can use it. Okay, looks like we're going in. What do you say? Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we get some safari balls. Okay. Here's our encounter then. What's it going to be? A golem. I think I can use dupes claws on that. Okay, I think, I think I can dupes clause this, because if you didn't know, earlier in the series, um, I had a, I think the furthest I got was Graveler. I caught a Geodude before the first gym, evolved into Graveler. I don't think I ever made it to Golem, but, and that means I can dupes clause this, so for the sake of variety, I think I, I'm going to 
get some out. So I've got plenty of ground types in the PC. Okay, so here's our actual encounter. I guess that's all right. I don't think I've ever actually had an electric type in this series. I had a Pikachu like died after five minutes. I named like Bolt or something it died after five minutes or so. Consider itself in the wood the seashore, then it waits. When prey touch it, it delivers a jolt of energy. Yeah, that's like the bloody bear trap version you get in Gala, where it just fucking bites your leg off. Okay, what are we gonna name this guy then? Right, yeah, uh, let's just go to something really original. Let's call him fucking Pancake. Uh, actually, I'm, I might just go with like. Let's make sure. Let's call him Cake. He's flat, Pancake flat, whatever you wanna call it. So now we've got Pancake, even the Sunfisk. Calm nature. Okay, I think that's decent for Stunfisk. Pokemon got pet palette. I, I don't think that was a threat anyway. Word so much. Safari zoned, so... Yeah, as I said, I won't use it for now. I'll wait for... You lot to... Or someone to give me some sort of judgement. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see about it. There's a lot of fucking Pokemon here. Yeah, I think, was it like Gen 1 where you had to come into the Safari Zone to get a HM or something? You're just going to say the exact same thing. Because um, I never played the Gen 1 games, so I've only played games where Safari Zone is like an optional area. Where like, it's just like, go in, catch whatever Pokemon you like, and that's about it. Oh, there's an item here. Is this Rock Smash? Rock Smash, there we go. So, are you all going to say the same thing? Yeah, so I take it I can just leave now. Okay, so let's go deposit cake. I'll make sure to put him in like a different box to make sure I don't forget that he might not be legit. So I'll probably drop him in box two. So yeah, well, it do, it doesn't matter even if we can't use it because obviously we've got a cave to go through next. So I'll just make sure I'm prepared. Then we'll get going. Okay, so I was going through the shop, seeing if there's anything we need to get before we left, and I noticed something. This guy here will sell us eggs. And I think that might be a good idea to get one. So, as you can see at the top, I've got 52,000. Uh, I sold a bunch of stuff I'd got from the mining over the course of the playthrough. Like, I had like a fuck ton of revives. So, the normal eggs are 10k each. The rare egg is 200k. Um, obviously, 52k. We can't afford the rare egg. So, it's between the others. Okay, so, blue egg. We've got plenty of water types we don't really need anymore, which is what we're probably going to get. Red will probably give us a fire type. Yellow will probably give us an electric type. And I think... Um, as I said before, when we caught Cake Think It Is, who we probably can't use, um, we've never had an electric type so far, so I think I'll take the yellow egg. <laughs> what did that? Oh yeah, I got it. Okay, so we're just gonna take the egg through the cave, and then we'll be good. So, look at that. Oh, bloody hell. We got to teach someone, but I might just go get. I'll just go get someone from the PC. Whisk Cash Learn. Rock smash. You probably can't, but I'd rather take someone who can fight if it comes to it 
than someone who's just going to be useless. Yeah, you can. So we'll give Muddy Rocksmith, um, don't really need Water Pulse. We've got Water Moves on Fury, so. So yeah, into the cave for the second encounter of the episode. Sixteen. Okay, so before we go fight anyone, let's get our encounter here. Assume we can get an encounter. Because I really don't want to be forced to get the bloody encounter in the water. Because I've got plenty of water types, I don't need another one. Well, nothing's showing up, so I guess we'll just have to fight someone then. I'll have you know I'm a lady. Uh, I, 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 I was never <coughs> saying you were. Okay, yeah, a mulga is not something I'm too well prepared to deal with. I guess we'll sort of stand so. Yeah, it didn't do too much. Yeah, of course the first thing that shows up is uh, something I've got essentially no one to fight. Okay, so here we are back again. Let's hope we can get for a few more <laughs> battles before we can heal this time. So. So. I was a bit scared when that Amolga came in that first battle, to be honest, though, because I was like, okay, I've got nothing to fight this. Because I always seem to keep running into, like, the, the specific type combination that I've got nothing to deal with. Like, my team's got at least pretty decent coverage. But I keep running into, like, the one type combination that I can't deal with. Which... Is right now electric flying. <laughs> Luckily, though, a Mulga's not too good. So, unless I do run into a Zapdos, I think I'm fine. <laughs> you foul mouthed cretin. Excuse me. I, I'm the only one allowed to use big words like cretin here. You're, you're an NPC. Shut up. Big words are for <laughs> me. Because I'm cool. Oh, it's a psychic. Scizor should do this then. Again, that's not so Again, Dodger, you, you said you were a psychic. Use some bloody psychic types, please. You better be able to catch something in this cave. Again, this is not a bloody psychic type. <sighs> but I think I can switch out now anyway. Yeah, I can. If asked you, matey, bring me a Pokemon battle on. Yeah, are you fucking pirate Yoda or something, mate? <laughs> oh, great, yeah. I switched my team up just for a water type, and you bring out bloody Gyarados with Ice Fang that was this glass move. G glass moves? Yeah, yeah. I love that bloody <laughs> glass type. That's Brilliant, brilliant words, mate. Okay, that's a little bit scary. I think my stats are still higher because I'm higher level. Rain dance. You're doing a lot of setting up, mate. Dragon dance. Do you want to dragon dance one more time for me? What was the point of dragon dancing to Hyper Beam? <laughs> I 
I mean, I got scared there just so I saw Hyper Beam. It didn't re uh, and I thought, oh, this Gyarados has just raised its stats, and now it's using Hyper Beam. It didn't register with my fucking brain that, first off, he raised the wrong stats, second off, it's a Gyarados using Hyper Beam. I'm not a very good engineer, nor am I all that great with Pokemon. Oh, I've, I've, I've put my sonar in front for a fucking engineer. Cause that's not too bad. To be honest, I was expecting a fucking steel electric type or something. None of these guys have had like Pokemon that actually fit their trainer class. I hope you're ready for my finisher. Do all trainers do that and come on screen like five, like for the last Pokemon? Because I swear it's just like big battles that do that usually, isn't it? I swear it is. I swear it's just like gym leaders, rivals and elite four members, champions, all those guys. Or maybe like the bad guys. I don't expect fucking Engineer Graham to come in and give me a fucking taunt for his last Pokemon. Is this place not classed as a fucking cave then? Because I ran around to near the start. Do we have rock climb? No. Uh, I ran around near the start of the cave. Nothing appeared. I've gone through the entire cave. Nothing appeared. I don't want to circle, I don't want to know a fucking water type. Okay, 317. Yeah, I don't think that actually classes as a cave just because it's called Route 316 rather than an actual cave. Well, I guess we can get an encounter here at least. <laughs> Fine. I can't use this. I need fucking type coverage more than anything. I mean, I've already got a grass type. I've already got a steel type. I've already got a steel type that's four times weak to fire. What the fuck's a ferrothorn gonna do for me? If this is my only encounter before the next year, I'm glad I got that fucking egg. Because nothing else I'm going to be useful. And it's going to fucking kill itself anyway. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, piss off, mate. I really couldn't kill us. I mean, it's not a bad Pokemon in any sense. Kid, you don't know what you're doing with. But it's just not something I can use right now. Probably not even in this playthrough at all. Well, I literally just keep getting things that I cannot use. Like, in my PC, the Pokemon I can use, I've gotten a Steel type, which I've already gotten, two Water types, which I've already got Water types, I've gotten a Ghost type, which died, I got a fucking Ninjask, which I can't use, I've got on. I got a Snova, which again four times weak to fire, and I've already got a Grass type. Ferrothorn. Can I just get something useful? Okay, can we get to another route then, please? Cacturn. Well, I guess I couldn't really use this either. I might end up having to put fucking Kling Clang on my team. This is like 50 times better than a fucking Ferris. Why couldn't I have gotten a fucking God of War? Okay, let's try to sneak past this guy. 
Oh, and now I'm in a city, so I can't get an encounter. Brilliant. Uh. Well, I guess I'll go to the Pokemon Center. Then. Is this what? What's that town in Hoenn that's flooded? It's reminding me of that. I don't remember many of the town names in Hoenn. Why are you going to tell me? My house collapsed in the flood. I'm very fortunate Nurse Joy is letting me stay here in the Pokemon Center while I get my bags and my job back. Also, it's not like it's normally like this. It's flooded. So it's a bit more like... What was it like? S Sinbark Island, was it? S S no, Cinnabar. Cinnabar Island. In the Gen 2 games where it's been destroyed by a fucking volcanic eruption. Right, I guess let's get exploring this turn then. I assume it's going to be a water type gym. Well, I pretty good diver here, take this. Oh, dive, there we go. I don't think I can use that yet. But I guess it's a cool person. Is this meant to be here? Was there not one in the fucking Pokemon Center? If there was, I didn't notice it missing. Yeah, there is one. Why is there one just randomly there then? Oh, I get it. It's so you don't have to have your surfing Pokemon on hand to change the gym. Was the Lapis pack an optional item then? Mummy, Daddy's been gone for a year now since when the flood happened. When is he coming back? I know, darling, I miss him too. I don't know whether or not to tell her. Oh, that, that's a bit grim. Yeah, I'll, I'll just leave you to it. Uh, so this is a bit more light-mooded. Who the hell do you think you are? You can't just barge in my house like this. Get up before I call the police. Okay, I guess that's a bit more light, <laughs> light-hearted. Is this more of these fucking? What's this? Are you part of the simulation depot beta? Oh. Oh, you can get basically fucking cards of people to battle, like. Youngster Joey. Jerem, Hiker Jeremy at the top picture, he was a professor's assistant. I think a lot of these are like YouTubers, like the Yogscast people definitely are. And I think a couple of the others are as well. Old McDonald. <laughs> ah, that, that's. That's funny. Yeah, but. I guess. I guess that's decent for training if I ever need to. What's that down there? Oh, you're gonna give me one of these guys. I'm laxing with my fang types after a victory, fresh victory against Miranda. She's quite tough if you're not ready though. Okay, so I take it Miranda's the gym leader here. Wait, I swear. Was she mentioned that, like, an episode or two ago? Uh, this house is oddly empty. Uh, yeah, I think she was mentioned. Did did we get told what type she is at all? Or? Cause I don't remember that. Oh, fossil Pokemon. We love our jobs as archaeologists. We love to excavate fossils from beneath the earth. But that was until the flood happened. Is where we can get our fossils done. So I'm told used to be an archaeological one. Now we're just focused on reviving fossils. We want to revive as many extinct species as possible to help the world. Hello, I'm a scientist. I can turn fossils into living, breathing Pokemon. Do you have a fossil for me to revive? 
Okay. So, I'm not going to do it right now. But, at some point, I can go through my fossils. Decide which one I want to revive. Because the mines give you a fuck ton of them. Hello, I'm the Dream Lord. Do you know what a Dream World is? Is this how you get hidden abilities? Every Pokemon has two different abilities it can have. Have all Pokemon have a hidden third ability called their Dream World ability and unlock it when they venture into the Dream World. Fortunately, that can be rather hard to do. Thankfully, I have a neat ability that lets me utilize the power of the Dream Stone to do it instantly. Well, would you like me to change all of your Pokemon's abilities to their Dream World ability? Again, same thing with the ability capsule. I, I'm not going to do this right now because I don't know any of my Pokemon stream world ability. Mommy and Daddy are fanging of. <laughs> That's risk coming from the girl who's still living off her daddy's fortune. Uh, again, if if you've got a family together, if she's living off the fortune, you're probably also living off the fortune. You have to get promotion soon. Be swallowed by the bills before you know it. Okay, so, um. T t t t t this town's rather grim. The, the whole place has been fucking flooded. Th that one guy lost his house. That, that little girl's father died, and then this girl's parents are probably gonna get a divorce. I take it something important's gonna happen here at some point. But yeah, I guess that's Is it just the gym here then? Did I go in this house? So is there nothing I can do before the gym? I hope that ha oh yeah, this is the guy who gave me fucking dive. Okay, so does that mean I've got no more fucking encounters before I have to fight the gym? I'll go talk to the guy in the gym actually, see what type Miranda uses. Because these signs, they're meant to tell you that, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I take it. It's like fire types of summit. Hey there, champion, the making. You're near the end of, of your god. The Caspian City Gym is the very last one. So I take it to see the fire type or dragon. Water, ground, and rock types will sure help you out here. But you better make sure to avoid grass ice. Okay, so it's fire. Also, I should mention this sun is harsh for every single battle. Okay, so I don't think it's going to be too pleasant doing a whole episode in there, seeing as that the bloody weather effect doesn't seem to <laughs> be very pleasant. So... If it's going to be fire types with the sun up. Okay, so that Ferrothorn's out the fucking picture. So, Pin and Sly are going to be fucking useless. Sonar will be alright. Fury, again, probably just alright because he's a fucking water type, of course. But if the sun's going to be up, he can't really do too much. And very few people in my box can do anything. Am I going to have to bring in fucking Blunder and Muddy? Cake would have been brilliant. <laughs> yeah, um... Actually, <coughs> check out what... What fossils have we actually got? Okay, so we've got... Lilip, which not gonna be too good. Cranidos, 
could be decent. Anorith. Probably also not going to be too good. Omanite. Again, could be good. Oh, Aerodactyl. That's a tempting one. Armor Fossil. I think that's... Shield on, is it? Can I think that's all my fossils? I think out of them, Aerodactyl is the most tempting for me, personally. <laughs> well, that's also another flying type. Yes, yeah, so I guess next episode we'll be taking on the gym because I don't know if there's anything else we can actually do before we defeat the gym. Which I think is the eighth one. Yeah, it'll be the eighth one. So what I'm thinking is in between episodes, I'll hatch the egg. Ha how long? Actually. How far across is it? It doesn't seem close to hatching in case it... I've tried to hatch the egg. I might train up Muddy and Blunder. And then Fury and Sonar also stick around. Pin and Sly. I might not even have them on the team for it, especially Pin. Because one fire move and they're dead. It might even be worth putting Doge on rather than one of them. Just because we if I've got if I get a chancey, I can just sit there and take hits while I heal or something. Which is honestly gonna do more for me than a Scissor that's just going to get one shot to any fire move. But I guess, other than that, that's going to be it for today's episode. So, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!